For the chickadee, all you need is a, a small flat brush, either a small flat brush or a small round brush. Now I got a small flat filbert brush, okay, very small, because the chickadee is not that big. And we're just going to paint in the darks first. Okay, so there's a dark up here on the head, so just add a black and a little bit of blue to your black if you want, a bit of ultramarine blue. And just fill that in first. Work around the eye. Try to stay inside the line. Good. Good. So we'll get the darks first and that'll make it much easier for you. Under the eye and under the beak. We'll leave the top part there and we can add a lot, another color to that. And under the tail. Good. And where else? Now you have it drawn out, so you have all your lines here to follow. This line here. Good. If you make a mistake or go outside the lines, you can always fix it later when it dries, okay? Try not to fix it when it's wet. Then we have under here. Under the wing. Good. And where else? How about under the body? These are just shadows. Alright, so that just gets it started for you. You can also uh, get a, maybe we'll get the uh, a thin liner brush. Get the thin liner brush because it might be a little better to control. And get the feet. So it's little feet right here. Okay, so that one goes on the, out here in the front of the branch and that one goes behind the branch, okay? Back here, front, wouldn't want them to fall off. Wouldn't want the poor little chickadee to fall off. I might put another little bit here. So you can put your dark lines wherever you need to. I'm just outlining it so we can see it, that's all. Good. So I'm going to take my ultramarine blue. And just put it on, go back to my messy palette, take my ultramarine blue and put it on my filbert, okay? And I'm going to put that, uh, let's see, right here. There we go. Let's just get our basic colors on first and we'll work with the rest. So all you need to do is just get some basic colors. It's so much easier to do it this way than trying to get a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit on top here. These are your darker blues. I'll straighten it up in a second now. Okay. There we go. That's a better view. All right, so let's take some white and add white to our blue. All right. We'll have a lighter blue this time. And we'll put that lighter blue down here.
good. That's marvelous. And we'll do the same thing with this here. Get some white and some blue and put it up here. Okay. Here we go. So this time I'm going to try a small brush. There it is. A small round brush and I'm going to to go into my white gesso. I'm going to use gesso instead of white paint. Gesso is really good for this. It's nice and smooth and runs well. Okay. Now I've got a flat brush also so I just want to try both. Alright so because this is a little tricky. All right, so what we're going to do is add some white. Now, I'm left-handed, so you might want to start on the opposite side of what I'm doing. All right. So there we go. We're trying to put on little feathers, okay? Now... So we'll just add a little bit. We may have to go back and forth on this a little bit. That happens sometimes. All right, so now what we're going to do is keep putting, see, we're just adding little feathers. That's all. Now you can have your chickadees any color. You can have them brown, red, and all kinds of stuff, and yellow. There we go. All right, so we get some more up here. And as you're coming in up here, go into the black a little bit. These little strokes, and that will give it a feathery look. There we go. All right. I'm going to do that one too if you want. When you go into the black like that, it gives that uh, more of a realistic feathery look. I want it nice and bright up here. I'm going to go to the flat brush now in a second. So try different brushes, no matter what I say, it might work for me, but it may not work for you. So don't forget, try different brushes. I don't want you to say, oh, I don't have that brush. I don't have that color paint. I don't have that brand of paint and I can't do anything. Whatever you have on hand, you can make a beautiful painting out of it. Okay? You know, you might see some videos say you got to have this kind of paint and that kind of, Yes, if you want it to look exactly like the artist that's doing the painting. If you want to do it uh, out of an art book and they show you the colors they used, if you want to have your painting exactly the same as them, then yes, you need to use those colors. And you still may not, you know, you still may not get exactly the same because you use different pressure on your hand than they do and, and you might mix them a little differently. So, you know, but uh, I don't try to make mine exactly like what I see. I try to have a, a, a use as a reference. It's more fun when you create it yourself by just using the tutorials and books for a guide, yes, of course. But um, try your best to do your own version. So you're doing the chickadee, which is fine. But it doesn't have to be exactly the same color or even the same shape. And you can look up different chickadees and, and see what the shapes are. and You know, just have some fun with it. Be frustrating, I understand. I've been frustrated. Especially trying to do videos. <laughs> trying to do it all and get it as good as I can for you. I'm just putting on a little bit of white here. 
we'll get to the flat brush now just painting little strokes of white on top of what I did let's try the the flat see what happens you never know it might work out we'll never know unless we try all right what do we need to put some white this time just going to go over some of this again A few little strokes. There we go. That works pretty good. As long as it's chiseled, chiseled edge, you should be okay. See if you make that little bit over here. Just go into that black a little bit. That will thin it up for you if, it, if it's too thick. Same with down here. You can just go back into it. See? Just gives it a feathery look. That's all. See, it's cute. You know, it's cute. So this one here, put some more white. So layer your paint so that you get more white on top of what you already did, because you got the blue for the underpainting. Try not to lose your underpainting. And then make little dabs of white on top of what you already did, just to give it some highlights. I'm just using the corner of the brush now to make it easy for me. The corner of the brush. There we go. I'm going to bring a little bit of that here. Good. I'm just playing around. Nice. You want to bring a few little strokes down in here. You might need the other brush for this one. See, I'm, I'm experimenting like you. And I'm finding this brush not that great for this small area here. But I'm going to keep doing it. Oh, little feathers, isn't that cute? Just a little feathery look, see? So if you add more little white strokes on top of that, you can just touch, 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 touch. It was easier. Okay. Little feathers. Okay, so let's take a little bit of blue dark blue, ultramarine blue, we'll just do the top of this here. These little details. Doesn't want to come off. Alright, so... Alright. So you want to leave a little bit of white there. And now let's go in with the eye. Let's fill this in with black. Alright. All right, because I, all right, yeah, that's good. And then what we'll do is wait for that to dry a little bit. While we're waiting for that to dry a little bit, take a bit of ultramarine blue on. I'm using this my round brush, and I'm just going to even up this top of his head a little bit. And I'm just going over with a bit of blue just to... Uh, Take that black look off it, okay? So anywhere there's black, just put some ultramarine blue on top just to take that that uh, flat black look off it. There we go. So you do whatever you, you know. If you find this helps, you can use this. See, it takes that flat look off there. All right. Whoops. <laughs> I have jumped around. There we go. That's good. Got a funny head now because my hand jumped. Let me see if I can fix it. I don't want to leave you hanging like that. Let's see. Let's see if we can fix it. Because I kind of got a round, cute little round. See, that's better, isn't it? Good. That's much better. So make adjustments. If something don't look right, then don't be afraid to go back over it again, okay? And I'm going to take a little bit of light. So I'm just looking at it. Look at your, look at it and see where you think it might need some extra work. So I'm just going to add a little bit of blue up here to straighten this up because it kind of uh, needs work, right? See that? Add a little bit of white on top of that just to... So, you know, go have a look at it and see where it parts that might need a little 
adjusting. If you need to blend that together, you can just blend that right in here. Okay. All right. I love you for the rest of my life. I love that song. The song I wrote, I love it. Great for a wedding song. I did write it for my wedding. And we played it at my wedding. Yeah, it's pretty. All right, so take your little round brush and... All right, and then take a little dot for the eye. Good. And then clean off your brush a little bit so that if you get too much on there and just sort of on the edge here just give it a little bit of a highlight at the edge all right let's see if we can get that to work let's see what that will look like i love you All right, that gives it a bit of an eye there. See that? Isn't that cute? All right. That's all right. Now let's get a little bit of, I don't know, let me see, let me see. Let's go with um, some brown, a little bit of yellow. I'm thinking the feet might, on the same brush, small. And just, uh, Thicken them up a little bit, I guess, with a little bit of highlight, a bit of brown and yellow. To, there we go. All right. Probably be better if you looked at a picture of a chickadee. It'll help you guide you along with that. Uh, this is just my version, okay? All right. All right. There's not much left to do with that, I think. Um looks like I need to fix this beak right here. Now, it looks to me like it's too long. So I'm not going to add any more paint to that one. I'm going to show you what I would do if you if you have a problem with something that's uh, way too big or doesn't look right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my blue, the background color of my sky. And I'm going to take it out that way. See? I love you. All right. And that'll shape it up a bit better then, see? So if you can't get the background color, just go in with a bit of white. All right. I think that's it. I don't think I want to do much more. I'm sure there's lots you can do. You can add more flowers at the bottom and you can add another little chickadee up here. The little yellow one that I had in this one. That's the same thing. Just draw it out. Okay, just draw it out and paint the just paint the blacks where they go and then under the belly then it's yellow instead of the blue and whites and right? Same thing exactly. So there we go. So that's a nice little painting, and it's pretty simple too, you know. It's pretty simple. It's it's not hard, and um, but you know, just the different brushes um, and the, the sponge makes a difference. Just having uh, make that old rugged, weathered look on your on your birdhouse. So let's I see something I would like to do. I would like to take my... All right, we got a little bit of construction going on around here, so we'll probably hear a bit of noise in the background. That's why I got a little bit of music in the background there for you. But just watch this. Right here, there could be a couple of little flowers falling out of there. So I got red on one side of my brush, on my filbert, and yellow on the other. And with the red side down, I'm just going to touch as if there's, as if there's some, there we go. Maybe use white, can't seem to get that to work. 
So a little bit of red, white, yellow, whatever works for you. Right now, mine won't work, but here we go. Oh, <laughs> it's a bit of white. There we go, that's better. Actually, we could also put some um, some of those little leaves, trees up there in the back. Probably we'll put those up at the top there and said uh, I could do that because the, the other chickadee will probably take me too long. But I think I'm going to use a sponge for that. Okay, so all you have to do is dip into some green and some yellow. Green and yellow in with your bra, with your this or a brush, as long as it's bristle, or your sponge. And you're going to tap this on top of here. Look how pretty that is. Now, isn't that cool? It does it all for you. You don't even have to do anything. Just tap, tap, tap. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. So simple. Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? It amazes me even to this day. So do it again. All right. Tap, 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 tap. You can even put in some little dark ones. And if you want, tap into your red. Add little bits of red to it. Tap, tap, tap. Look, and they all separate for you. You don't have to even worry about it. It's so cool. Hope you can see that. There we go. You do a whole painting of foliage with a sea sponge. Okay, so that should do it. Um, this looks like it needs a little bit of work. See? I'll admit it. I will admit it. Yes, I'm not going to say all of mine is perfect. But you, you can go ahead and work on yours and if you see something that don't look right then put it in but make sure that is dry because I think that's the problem I had where I was trying to do it for the video and I wouldn't wait for it to dry okay so you guys go and and have fun with your painting enjoy if you got any questions just email me at alisonpryoryahoo.com and um, I guess that's it for now. So I will see you in the next video. Happy painting, everybody. Leave a comment if you uh, got any questions or if you want to share. Don't forget to ring the bell. Happy painting. Bye.